what is love? Ask a million people and you might get a million answers. A physicist might say that love is just a chemical reaction. A romantic might say love is an undying connection. Author Stormy O'Mardian will say something different. Love, she says, is a choice. Most of us know we're supposed to love one another. But the truth is, it's hard to love people, even when we know it's the right thing to do. As a best-selling author with dozens of books to her name, Stormy Omardian believes we struggle to love others because we don't understand God's love for us. In her latest book, Choose Love, Stormy says understanding God's love starts with realizing that love isn't just a feeling, it's a choice. Well, Stormy O'Mardian is here with us now. And Stormy, we welcome you back to the 700 Club. Thank you. It is so good to be back. It's it, like coming home. It is like <laughs> coming home to have you here, really. Thank you. you. You know, most people, when you talk about love, think of the kind of romantic, mm -hmm. mushy, <laughs> emotional love. Yes. But you have a really strong message in your book, um, Choose Love, that it is just that, a choice, because it doesn't always... It doesn't always fit with our agenda. It doesn't right. always feel right. Exactly. But that's the commitment we make really before the Lord is to love yes. others as he loved us. Yes, right? and uh, when God impressed this message uh, upon my heart as I was reading uh, 1 Corinthians, the love chapter, yes. you know, uh, 13, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 13, uh, that he, told, he showed me every word in its fullness. Mm -hmm. And I, I was so shocked at how far short I fell in that. Uh, he really convicted my heart about it, that we can't wait for feelings. Yeah. We have to choose. But we can't love others the way we're supposed to unless we receive the love of God yeah. for us. And we can, we can know that God is love. We know that he's a loving God, all of these things. But unless we really receive the fullness of his love for us, we, yeah. we don't begin to comprehend how deep and, and the breadth of it. And, and that, that is what teaches us mm -hmm. as we respond to him and with our love for God. That is what enables us to love others the way God wants us to. So talk a little bit about that, about um, responding to him, because a lot of us for a long window of time have had knowledge. Right. But it's not until it sifts down into our hearts and we actually yes. get it yes. and, and receive it and own it for yes, ourselves. That, that is exactly How it. did you get there? Well, I, I really had to ask him to show me because I didn't come out of a, you know, a background of feeling loved. You know, I felt rejected always and I felt unloved. And, and, um, and so I knew God was a God of love, but I didn't know that he really loved me, you know. And, and, and I just asked him to show me, God, show me your love for me. And I, he showed me in his word and he showed me in my life. So many things that we take for granted or, or think maybe is even God's judgment upon us. This is actually his love for us. Yeah. You know, he, he loves us so much that he's not going to let us you know, fail in a, in a way that destroys us. He's not going to, he, he's going to let things happen in our lives because he loves us. Mm -hmm. And to understand the, the depth of his love really is life changing. I love the fact that this happened to you. I mean, I've read all of your books. We've spoken together many times. Yes. And, and I, you know, I thought as I read your book and you talked about being in 1 Corinthians, how the word is always alive. I'm yes. sure you've read 1 Corinthians 13 a yes. hundred times. Yes, at, at least. least countless <laughs> times. Life. Yeah, right, exactly. But this time it was different because the yes. word is fresh and it's why we need yes. to stay in it. You stay in it. And I'd ask him, I ask him every time now, Lord, teach me from this passage, whatever passage I'm in, teach me things I haven't seen before. Yeah. You know, open my heart to understand. Mm -hmm. I want to understand your word more than ever. And when I did that, he really, he really answered that prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I was nearly, I was nearly on the floor on my face before him with the repentant heart saying, oh my God, I, I see how I failed uh, in ways that I didn't even realize. I, you've made me to be a loving person beyond what I ever thought I could be. And yet I see with each word how he just helped me unpack each word, like mining for gold or, or diamonds. And, and every facet of that word was shown to me in that, that moment. And I just saw, oh, I, I could see how I had forfeited blessings God wanted to bring into my life because I didn't choose to love others the way he wanted me to. And I didn't choose to 
open up to mm -hmm. his, his love, you know, his greatest gifts of love, uh, of Jesus in our hearts, the Holy Spirit, you know, his love, peace, and joy, all of these fruits of the Spirit, his gifts of love for us. And, you know, you, you have to have that in order to love him. But when you say choose, I mean, that's an action sometimes we have to take when we don't feel like it yes. and we don't think we can. I mean, I'm yes. sure there are many people who are watching and listening right now who are saying, but I can't love that person or this yes. has been done to me, that's been done to yes. me. That's why God gave you this book <laughs> because yes. you did have such a rough life growing yes. up. I mean, you had some abusive things done to you that would have, yes. would have destroyed a lot of people, but yes. choosing love was what got you through that. It was, it was choosing to love God. That was another thing. When you receive the love of God, it, you automatically love him. You just have to show, but you showing, choosing to show your love to him is what, is that, that's the way he pours his love into you. Is when you say, God, I love you, I worship you, I adore you, and, and thank you so much. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when you're opening up your heart like that, like a funnel, he pours himself into you. And his love, peace, joy, all of that comes into you, and that gives you a heart for other people that you wouldn't have had otherwise. But Stormy, how did you love or choose to love the closest people in your life who did such harm to you? It, it was a choice again. I had to choose to forgive, I had to choose to forgive um, my mother, who was the abusive person, and um, I, I, I had to choose it every day. I choose, God, I choose to forgive her. I forgive my mother. Help me to forgive her completely. And I began to pray for her, and I found that that's one of the w w main ways that your heart will open up to someone. Praying for them, you, be, you grow a heart of love for them because God gives you his heart So is that them. the answer in difficult times to just right above it yes. and keep choosing to do the right thing yes. even when you don't feel like it yeah exactly you have to go with the word of god you have to go you have to understand his love for you express your love for him and he changes your heart yeah. in that process and he gives you his heart for that yeah. person and you say i'm going to do the loving thing today lord show me what the loving thing to do is in this situation yeah. we have to depend on him to guide us yeah. the holy spirit will guide us in that because i mean you can't be all things to all people in in and every bit of fullness in your heart, you have to choose. You have to make choices. Okay, I need to do this for this person today. I need to respond to this person. I need to pray for this person, but be led by the Spirit. And in the end, it's so interesting how God uses it all to bring it right back to us being healed and made yes. whole with yes. His love. Yes, it's, it's It's a simple but amazing concept. You can learn more from Stormy by reading her book. It's called Choose Love, The Three Simple Choices That Will Alter the course of your life. Plus, be sure to get the Choose Love Prayer and Study Guide and also the Choose Love Book of Prayers. They're available wherever books are sold. And Stormy, wonderful to have you oh, back with us again. So good to be back. Thank, thank you, Terry. Thank you for a great message. Thank mm -hmm. you for reading it. <laughs>